made a mess since you've last seen it. Let's get this cleaned up, shall we? That's better. All right, next. I'm gonna take the manufacturer's blade off this thing and put the specialty blade on because I'm done modifying. So let's see what we can do. All right, well, first things first. I gotta take the guard off. You know what? I don't feel like doing that, so. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let me put these down. This is easy, man. Now I gotta take that blade off. You know what? This is working so well. Maybe we'll just continue with the pattern of letting it do itself. Oh yeah, this is getting, this is just fun, this is fun. All right, let me put these down. Now, let's see if we can make it work again and get the new specialty blade put on. How about that? Okay, it's on, but I don't want to trust the fact that it might not be tight, so let me make sure that it is. Okay, I feel safe now. Alrighty then. Put that tool back where it belongs. That's one way I keep my shop in order. I always put things back after I use them. Alright, gotta put the guard back on now. There, we're back to where we started. Nice, it's done. So, now, this thing's ready for acrylic and Lexan. Awesome. So I did a couple little modifications so that, well, let me pick you up and show you. The modifications are not in place right now, but, and I'm going to drop this down. You're going to hear a little sliding noise. There we go. So I cut a board. Um, I've got to change my blade back out on this also because I changed it back to the blade for lumber. But I cut a board, gave it its angle, found my measurement, exact angle, piece as wide as inside here and up here, and it runs flush. That way I can cut narrower pieces. And I cut a board to fit in down here and notched it to receive, to, to miss this stuff. So that sits in there and it runs exactly flush with the rollers. So now I just need to try to find some type of stick on tape measure and then get that in place and calibrated. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah, and uh, I can't remember which one of you had said I need better lighting. Absolutely. <laughs> what I do is I I move this clip-on light wherever I need it. Um, and of course for this saw I have a light aiming down at the saw that way and the clip-on light I hang up here and aim it down that way. And then, of course, the clip-on light, I can move over to this saw to get light. I move it over here for the metal brake. I move it over here for the grinder. And a little bit further over for this saw. And, of course, I've got that light on this side. So, um, And then I've got the onboard light, which is dim for the uh, drill press. But I also have that clip-on light that I move over here and angle it down this way when I'm putting down my uh, VHB tape. And, of course, that light's up there. So, I mean, right now, I'm, you make do with what you got. I mean, there's other priorities that are far more important. But that is definitely correct. I need better lighting. So, anyway... 
I think the magic is over unless I want to change that, but which I do have to, but oh well. Maybe later. Catch y'all on the flip side. Green Mountain Gold Trap gone.